<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, we got to Dead Bird Studios, and we had completed the finale? Uh, yeah, oddly enough, the finale is split into two parts, and you actually get two time pieces for it. So I don't feel as bad that we had to do two videos. Um, so, continuing on, we did get a key somewhere in this area, we just now have to get back to it. Uh, I'm not sure if we will very easily, because uh, the key was hidden in what I assume is the conductor's room, right here. Uh, yep, right on the top of some of the bird uh, movie award trophies. Because, holy, how would you sleep with that many uh, very sharp, painful items by your bed? Oh yeah, that's how we got in, so we gotta get out this way. Oh. The only real thing we have to worry about for this, we can just hop over. We had to get across at some point. Uh, you know what, we're gonna have to do another one. We're gonna pick a different spot. Oh, here's our moon landing space. So if we jump, I think we can get up on top of this, it looks like. Oh no, we can get behind it though. Interesting. So let's head up here. Over onto the rocket. Okay, come on. The rockets are right there. We can do this. Launch. All right, we are on one of the cords. To the other one, and get a sprint yarn up here. We've been sprint for pretty much this entire time. We haven't been using it too much. I've been using more the uh, regular dash that we get. Uh, sorry, the dive dash thing. But we need to get past this area, which is just ahead of up here. And congrats, you've passed that area. It's not too, too difficult. Can't seem to get past out of there, so we have to go this route. Which, fortunately, it's just... Did you pack your uh, grappling hook? Then you're good. And if you fall to the ground, you can always just wall jump your way back up. From here, we have to go and take these sandbags. This is all stuff we did at the end more or less of last part, because we died in this air next room. Because you have to make the jump from, like you have to drop and then jump and do that. Though we messed it up and died pretty much instantly, and then we had one hit left at the time. Thanks to us having the key, we can open that. If we didn't have the key, I assume you can just open up this one and go back up. But thanks to the key, let's go in here and see what we can get. A, looks like a relic, which is just a rift token. We've actually finished all the relics in this game already. Uh, I'm glad they give so many, but it's a bit saddening that we did all that for a key that gave us a token, and that's it. So we'll head into the elevator and try to look at non-distracting areas because of the frames we ran into in the last part. Welcome to Chapter 2, Act 6, Award Ceremony. And this is the other reason I didn't feel too bad splitting it up. Because there's the conductor. <laughs> Look, Look who we've, we've got, got here. here. I guess you found my little basement, dear. Eh? This last timepiece is all mine. If you want it, you're gonna have to take it from me cold, dead hands. Very, very different uh, look of him compared to uh, when we were fighting him before. Like when we talked to him about the last in the finale, because he's like, uh, take this insignificant movie prop. Now it's this timepiece, so they know actually what this is, 
which was honestly a big surprise. But, I mean, he is a bit much more complex fight than the Mafia boss. But, I don't know. He's still almost as predictable. Oh, we took the damage right after getting healing. I would have much preferred it the other way around. So, a few hits, and he's... He actually gives us a lot of healing. He's got a knife, which is coming right at us. Which I'm okay with, because it does give us a chance to do something to counter him. As long as he's doing his multi-stab move, you can just jump over him and Exactly. Slice of life. Slice of life. I guess it's a movie ty type. I guess genre. I guess the right word. Take this out. And three hits. And oh no, he's still going after his um, knife move. So that's four hits there. Any changes? Five hits. Five hits. Looks like it's their thing. So you just have to jump and those cars will crash into each other. And he's got three of those, um, I guess, what are they, the party balls? And he's also got multiple of himself. <laughs> Um, the Himmelsville of himself is difficult to see with the camera. Up to five? Ooh. One hit there. We're actually hoping that the, they give this some healing. It's, I'm hoping they give us some healing soon. Unfortunately, he's still hittable at the end of each of those. Oh, we hit one more of him. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like we're done. Let's have a little heart to heart. Little heart to heart. All right, we'll sit and relax. Ever since them. you arrived on this planet, these time pieces have been falling from the sky. All right, I'd believe that now, the time pieces. I can understand if you feel they belong to ye. I get it. But did you know I can rewind time with one yes. time piece? I can reclaim the trophy that belongs to me. That's right. The loss of award forty-two. I don't think I that's too important. At the forty-second annual Beard Awards, me. I need just one time piece to. No. Oh, <laughs> you're a hell. If you want. Um. Interesting. So we're gonna run this way and. Remember this little bomb? This time, it's a time. We've got a bomb attached to us. Seventy-seven. And it's just hit him as quickly as possible, I guess, in this case. Because, well, we only have 60 seconds left to kill him. This is an interesting situation. I do like that he now has a form that's just running away. Hello, DJ Groups. We're doomed. Uh, if this had enough strength to destroy a train, um, won't this entire area be destroyed? But it's good that DJ Grooves is actually coming to help us as well. Twenty-two 
20 seconds remaining. Are we gonna get some freedom now? Fifteen. The diffuser. All right, we have been diffused. And now we have the band chasing us, which is going to make things a lot more difficult to fight this guy, because the band hurts. Unfortunately, we're not platforming at the same time, so that is one good thing we've got for us. And as long as we're not platforming, we have a chance. Apparently, hitting him in the butt with our umbrella was our solution. I think it was a good solution, don't you guys? But let's grab our timepiece, and that's number 20. We are almost to the end. I think you need 25 timepieces to do the finale. But I think Battle of the Birds is pretty much done. Just the time rifts left. And, well, we saw it would have been two or three parts ago uh, how quick a um, time rift can actually be. But thank you guys for watching this episode of A Hat in Time. In the next part, we actually move on and maybe go work on completing the subcon forest. We still are missing a contract there, uh, so we can actually continue forward. In any case, see you guys then. Have a great night.